underground did it. Some disturbing news has just crossed my desk. Spider-Man was recently involved in a nauseating act of depravity. Stealing toys from children. Is there anything lower than that? Why, yes there is, my faithful flock. Do you know what was found in this stolen stash? Spider-Man toys! Not only does he steal from children, he bullies them into playing with toys they probably don't even want! The nerve! The audacity! Which is why I'm announcing a new venture for the Just the Facts team. J. Jonah Jameson action figures. I have a prototype right here in front of me. And <laughs> let me tell you, this is one handsome toy. Oh my goodness, what a specimen. Any self-respecting child, or adult, I won't judge, would be lucky to get their hands on this masterpiece. In fact, Jared, order 10 for me and 10 for my wife. Get one for yourself too. It'll come out of your next paycheck. You're welcome. Hello, hi, yes, welcome back to Spider-Man Miles Morales. I want to say that there was a J. Jonah Jameson action figure in the 90s animated series toy line. At the very least there was a chameleon figure with like swappable heads and one of those heads was Jameson. I think then there was another one that was Spider-Man and basic chameleon and I think that was it basically but... But never mind that because we have a crime to stop here, so let's just venom blast these idiots and maybe try out some holo drones as well. Yeah, here's our holo buddies coming in to save the day. Not that it really needs saving at this point. Good work, me. Yes, good work, Miles, and good work, Hollow guys. So today we'll be actually returning to the main plot right after I unlock some of these suits and their associated bonuses. Again, I haven't really read all that much like Miles Morales comic stuff aside from the original run by Bendis in the Ultimate Spider-Man comics before before the Ultimate line got cancelled. So I don't really have the sort of knowledge of these various suits as I do about the, the stuff that was in the original game. Although this the end suit looks pretty cool. Let's see, I'll be able to get some gadgets here as well, or maybe not. Yeah, staying invisible longer seems like something we would want, so let's take that. Yeah, just looking around to see what else we got, but... As cool as this suit is, I am not actually going to wear it into the mission. I should probably try out those different suits in... Yes, thank you. I'll probably be using those different suits in the later side mission. Later side mission stuff. There we go. One summer, we got way into space travel and started freeze-drying our favorite foods. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Total fail. Red bean ice cream was not bad, though. Interesting. Don't really have all that much to say about that. I haven't tried freeze-drying uh, freeze food myself. But let's forget about that right now, because we are actually going to meet up with Finn now. And try to get to join the underground, I guess. So that's gonna be fun. 
I was really glad you called. I needed a break. From what? Oh, just... stuff. So, uh... I went to your folks' old shop. I thought you might be there. Looked like there might have been some kind of fight just before I got there. I went inside, looked around. Found out about Rick. I'm so sorry. What else did you find out? I want to help you. But you got to talk to me. I'm really sorry your mom got hurt at her rally. If that new Spider-Man hadn't shown up, everyone would have been fine. Please don't try to talk me out of this. I know what I'm doing. OK. Good. So, that's my big secret. That's why I've been so busy. What's your excuse? Uh, well, school, volunteering at Feast. You're always busy with stuff like that. What's the real reason? The real reason is... I've been taking on a lot more responsibilities than I can handle lately. Made me push my friends away. But I'm here to fix that. Maybe I could join your club? Crew? Team? Uh, I don't know. You know, Rick was... He was the best. I get why you're doing this. If you want my help, I'm all in. If not, no worries. Your secret is safe with me. You're a good friend, Miles. Okay, let's go. Where? You know I'm not good with heights. You'll be fine. I'll be watching. You'll need to prove yourself to the underground. I'll show you how when we get to Fisk Tower. You're set up in the Kingpin's office space? After he went to prison, the Fed seized his property. They haven't gotten around to selling it, so we moved in. How'd you get involved in all this? The underground, the tinkerer. Tinkerer is a nod to my role. I built everything. The masks, the weapons. Programmable matter. Right. The underground tried to rob my granddad's shop and saw what I was working on. We made a deal. I know you're after Krieger, but what do they get out of it? Besides guns. Notoriety. <laughs> they want to be so well known, they can get away with anything. And you're good with that? I can't take on Roxxon alone. Come on. I like Finn's leather jacket and purple hoodie combo. She dresses like my Saints Row boss would. Jump from the crane to the balcony. Show them you're fearless. They're watching? Through the windows. You have to do this. Uh, does everyone have to? Fine. It's like if you don't have spider powers, this might be problematic. Do this without giving away on Spider-Man. Okay, how many on, prospects have been killed here? <laughs> That's a big jump. Gotcha. <laughs> so am I officially in the club now? Sure. But watch your back. These guys take a while to warm up to new people. Here it is, where the plan comes together. 
So, your plan. How does new form fit in? Krieger's saying you stole a shit. I stole one canister. I'm making some adjustments. Don't worry about it. Take today to settle in. Right. Good, you're back. Gavin needs you. Not now. I got a new recruit. Fine. 99% of their budget goes towards purple LEDs. Oh man. You built all these? Yeah. As long as the new weapons keep coming, the underground stay loyal. Is that a programmable matter sword? New enemies, new solutions. You mean Spider-Man, right? This week's most unwelcome surprise. And I don't think Spider-Man should be a surprise. To explain it to him. Miles, I need to deal with something. Hang here, okay? Oh yeah, sure. Like, Miles has been doing this for a while. Now's my chance. I gotta figure out where she's keeping the new form. Weapons. Might be able to find some clues in here. Maybe we could just ask our new friends here. How do you do, fellow criminals? Could you please point me in the direction of the new form? Asking for a friend. Find some intel on where the new form is being kept. No one stops now. This stuff from Martin Lee's game? Yeah, trophies. That established dominance. We're gonna replace Fisk and run New York. These guys are well trained if they took down the demons. Wonder where they train. I guess the demons would have kind of fallen apart without Martin Lee to kind of guide them. Seen these before. This um a supply crate? Yeah, right. a booby trap or something. Well, if we could challenge. Double firing. That's a lot of cash. Need no more downstairs. Old man's basically funding us. Whether he likes it or not. More downstairs. Sounds promising. Yeah, old man, of course, referring to the kingpin who is imprisoned. There he is. Ooh, this would not like this. <laughs> Secret rooms. Good place to hide a deadly fuel source. I think this is where we actually fought some goons in the first game. Bridge attacks getting the underground a lot of press. Gotta grow that rap. Ask me, we should be focusing on PR, not lugging around this new form of crap. Lugging it around. Maybe they brought it here. Hmm. We might be using Fist's secret rooms on the ground level. Great time's over, kids. Group two, head downstairs for training. Yeah, like this was the server room in in that game where we stopped them from deleting their data and stuff like that Gotta update Genki. and yeah this is where we fought some fisk men as well yeah this is this is all very familiar of course from the first game but in a very different context Who are you texting? Uh, my mom. Yeah, she needs me at home. Right now? Really? Yeah, her wrist is in a cast. I need to help with dinner. Did you tell her I'm... Thanks. <laughs> you can head out that way. See you back here soon? Definitely. <laughs> Not really the best excuse you could have come up with, I guess, but whatever works. 
Let's see if they keep their secrets downstairs. I guess Mars was kind of put in the spot. Genki, I'm in the vents. Nice. Did you find out where they're hiding the new form? Not yet. But I saw Finn head toward the basement. So I'm gonna try and follow her. Hey, when you're crawling through vents, do you ever feel like you're in a movie and start humming suspenseful music to yourself? And then think about getting caught and put into a cell suspended over an alligator pit, and then making a bomb out of gum wrappers to escape? Wait, what? No! Cool. Just curious. That is very specific. Okay, I'm in the atrium. I need to shut down some underground training exercises. Then I'll look for a secret room. And this atrium, of course, was also where we fought a bunch of fist goons in the first game. And there's actually a bit of a discrepancy here that I will point out in just a moment. Yep, yep. Actually, a couple of them. Oh, whoops. I do like this area a lot because it's very vertical and we have guys on several levels, so we have to be really careful where we actually where we actually zip, so we don't get noticed. So, not like that. So if you look at the floor down there, the material is very diffused, which is also what it was in the PS4 version of the Spider-Man 2018 game. Now that's not a problem, that is that is consistent. But however, when this game came out, they also released the Spider-Man remastered version for the PS5 and later for the PC, which changes the material of the floor here to look more reflective, to really show off the RT effects, you know. And they didn't do that here. So that is a bit of an inconsistency that I'm kind of, that I'm kind of surprised they didn't patch at some point, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a bunch of nerds who would notice that anyway. So, so it's okay. We have got a whole bunch of guys. As well as a few fuse boxes that we could use to our advantage. Like so. There's also a weird thing in this section where Spider-Man, like he is making the comments sometimes when he takes down enemies, but the audio for those quips doesn't actually play, it only shows the subtitles. I don't remember if we saw any of that yet, but we will eventually. So far, so good. Just working our way through. Yeah, like there. Miles talking about spiders, man, again, but... But the audio just didn't, didn't play for whatever reason. We have thinned them out quite effectively so far. But at least they have those sort of protective masks. So they might get away with, you know, just a severe concussion when we kind of bonk them into these, into these steel beams. Oh, 
okay, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. They seem to have kind of no sold our, our remote mind zap, so that's not ideal. But at least we didn't get noticed, so it's all good. There is a bit of wall we could pull down, but of course we have to lure these guys there first. Okay, that mine is going to be useless because nobody is coming even vaguely close to it at any point. Oh, hold on. Almost got noticed, but fortunately they didn't actually look up all that much, so... So we got away with it. I don't know, underground member. I think there's like three or four of you at this point. Someone's taking you out. I guess that guy is not particularly fast on the uptake. Yes, someone is taking us out. Just whipping us up. I wonder who that could be. Probably the Punisher. Or Moon Knight. Yeah, I got some bad news for you. Okay. Still no sign of Finn. He must have gone somewhere. I read this interview with Fisk where he said he loved art with a purpose. What does that mean? I don't know. But they also found a bunch of secret passages in his house hidden behind art. So... Yeah, gotcha. I'm looking. Art with a purpose. Well, I think we found it. That was not there in the original game. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it wasn't. Oh, secret stairs. Yep, not there in the first game. I haven't checked though, I should probably check. Goes deep. Lots of mob bosses have secret exits like this. Wonder if Fisk planned to use it when the other Spider-Man came for him. He should have built a faster elevator. Maybe he would have gotten away. Let's not start giving the supervillains ideas, cool? Okay, I'm I'm not gonna need to pick any of this, I don't think. It's fine. You knew this would be dangerous. It's the deal we made. But if we're getting sick too? You can't hack it, you can get out. The underground doesn't have time for weaklings. You hearing this? New form is making the underground sick too. They're so callous about it. Yeah, if you don't want super cancer, you, you can just get out. You moved the new form? Safely? Yeah, to the lab uptown. <sighs> Genki, they moved the new form. We're not sure if the canister's safe. It was hot, buzzing, like it's unstable. It's that new Spider-Man. His powers messed with the structure. Tell everyone not to touch it. They're hideouts. New form's gotta be in one of them. I need a clearer picture. Then I can narrow it down. We don't know enough about this stuff. What it is, 
Where it came from? My brother created new form. Chief chemist. And Roxon killed him. I won't stop until Roxon's gone. Are you with me? You know we are. Good. I need power. Generators, car batteries, whatever you can find. Bring them to the theater. Looks like we are zapping. Yeah, that money flying around is just a really cool effect. And yeah, we got these new sword enemies. We have to kind of be a little bit fancy about taking them out. But that's okay, we can be fancy. Yeah, like you can see, they kind of dodge all our normal attacks. Oh, I have several. There's one. I'm not sure what this guy was trying to accomplish. I cleaned up that photo you took of the map. Looks like the underground are squatting in old Fisk construction sites. Also, if there are any frame drops, I think that is just a recording. I don't remember it having any issues when I was actually playing this. What about a theater? Finn mentioned one. A theater, huh? That's... Don't say it, Genki. Dramatic. You said it. That'd be the Gem Theater. Sounds like that's where she hit the new form. So that's my next stop. If you're headed to the theater, I'm all in. If you're gonna check out those underground hideouts first, I know someone who can help. Cool. I'll add the hideouts to my to-do list and hit you up when I get to the theater. I'll be here, trying to figure out why Speed Nonagon keeps crashing. Finn's not meeting the underground at the gym till later tonight. Probably has some time to check the app, or whatever else needs doing. Well, I guess we'll have a look at that next time, but first, of course, we have to get out of this vault. You all remember Wilson Fisk, don't you? The so-called kingpin of crime? I'm told he's getting five-star treatment in his cell, which is nicer than Jared's apartment, while his shark lawyers appeal his conviction. But it seems there may be some justice in the world after all, because a new Daily Bugle expose reveals that his now dilapidated Fisk Tower, which is scheduled for demolition in the new year, has been taken over by squad. And isn't it just perfect karma that this garish monument to the ego of a guy who always felt he was above the law has been overrun by a bunch of freeloading bums? Next thing you know, Spider-Man will turn the joint into his personal headquarters. So how does it feel to be hoisted on your own petard, Wilson? No, Jared, that is not an obscenity. Read a book! And on that note, I'll see you later.